times, make sure you fill out the surveys. Also fill out the back side of the survey uh, to give us some ideas of what you would like to hear at our next uh, event uh, sometime in the late fall. But uh, and make sure you put your name on, on it because that's the way you'll win prizes. Uh, so, uh, yep. Do you have any action, action huh? Do you have any action service? Yeah, yeah, yep. Okay. Come see me. Uh, the, um, and so with that, I would like to inter introduce Gabe. Uh, Gabe's an old friend of mine, a great guy in the uh, business object world here at McKesson, uh, very involved in ASUG and the SIGs, and so, uh, and a great speaker as well. So I will turn it over to Gabe. Uh, I hope you enjoy your speech. Um, can you guys hear me okay, or should I use the mic? I don't get to use the mic very often, so... But it sounds like this. <laughs> is that better? Yeah. Actually, is this better? Yeah. I guess the mic. I'm looking like a Backstreet Boy. <laughs> I don't listen to the Backstreet Boys. Come on. Metallica. I'm in Metallica. Um, all right, so uh, you are here for past, present, and future of web intelligence at McKesson. All right. Uh, Last year I did this presentation, and uh, last year we were thinking about what BI4 was gonna look like. Uh, today I'm gonna give you a little bit of a sneak peek of actually what it looks like. We do have it at, at ramp up at McKesson. Hmm. Uh, my name is Gabe Orthos, and we'll get started right on. All right, so I've been on the trenches for about 13 years, so I am not a sales guy. I don't work for SAP. Um, I work for McKesson and I am in the trenches every day uh, building web intelligence reports and building our BI practice here at McKesson. Uh, revenue management solution. I'm also very involved in the ASUG uh, chair. I'm the chair of the dashboarding SIG. So we do a lot of webinars and a lot of online training. Uh, if you're not aware, please uh, go check out the business intelligence community. And under business intelligence, there is a dashboarding uh, SIG that you can join. Also very active in Bob. Who knows what Bob is? Business Objects Board? All right, I'm one of the junkies there answering a thousand questions, right? Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm not. <laughs> but you learn a lot. Um, so McKesson.com, uh, revenue management solutions uh, based out of here, Alpharetta, Georgia, leading healthcare IT. We heard today um, our keynote about all about um, McKesson, so I'm not gonna go into much um, more detail. But uh, we're ranked, and this is something that was not said during that keynote presentation, we're ranked number 15 from the Fortune 500. And also, my caveat, the views in this presentation are mine, not necessarily McKesson's or SAP's. All right, so you're getting the, my view on, on this. All right, let's get started. So, um, what I'm gonna do today is, uh, I'll already give you the intro. I'm gonna talk a little bit about agile development and how that relates to web intelligence and to creating uh, reports using the business objects tool set. I wanna talk about best practices. And every time I hear best practices, I always think about, well, those are your best practices. So I'm gonna give you my best practices. It may or may not work for you guys. It works for my organization, but it works very well for, for us. And then uh, I'm gonna show you some of the cool features. We'll talk ab about images on reports. Uh, we'll talk about the open document and hyperlinking. We'll touch a little bit on prompts, and then we'll talk about the future of uh, BI4 letter, okay? I'll give you some pointers on resources, where to go for additional help, and then we'll open it up for questions, all right? And we'll do questions at the end. 